Hey guys, so last week I was in Selfridges and you know, I can go through a shop and not buy anything. I can just browse, I'm, you know, I'm very, very, I can be very strict with myself sometimes. So I've, had, I've got my curtains closed because outside is beaming, it's so bright. So I was in the Too Faced section, swatching stuff and looking at all the cutesy wootsy stuff that they have with Too Faced. And I walked past the RMK display and there was a lady there and she was like, oh, let me, match your foundation we have a new foundation but I didn't really have time for all of that I literally just went in there had a look at some things and I wanted to go because I had things to do so I couldn't really stop and do the whole foundation match thing and a lot of the time when they try and stop you they're trying to sell something to you and I don't want to waste my time and her time because she could be selling to somebody else but she did say well why don't you take a sample of our primer so this is what we're going to be trying out today as I said before I've tried samples on my channel before I think it was um, the black up foundation and primer and I love them they're recently in my favorites video so um, I actually forgot about this I forgot that I actually had this went into my bag and I was like oh yeah this primer let me try it out so I've been reading it and it says it's a barrier treatment essence and the lady told me that it's a primer but I don't know what like nothing that this says resembles the properties of a primer like it doesn't mention that you can wear it under your makeup it doesn't mention anything like that it mainly mentions the anti-aging effects that this product has but the lady said it's a makeup primer and it goes with the foundation that they've just released so I'm gonna try it the way that she has said it because obviously I've been told by a human being that this is indeed a primer so it's the art this is what the bottle would normally me look like and it's 30 mil I don't know how much it costs I'm not gonna be able to talk about whether or not it is really anti-aging because I'm very sure that those kind of properties for me to be able to judge those properties I'd have to probably use it continuously so I doubt that I'll be able to find out whether or not they're telling the truth on that on that but it is made in Japan and it includes bilberry extract for moisturizing, royal jelly extract for moisturizing, oh they all basically say for moisturizing, rice bran extract, lemon balm, glycrysic acids for anti-inflammatory purposes, GABA to prevent skin irritation and citrus peel extract again for moisturizing and that's what it says on the back there so it says after moisturizing which I've already done um, apply two to three pumps of essence over the entire face I'm gonna assume that this is about two to three pumps but of course if it's not I'll just save whatever is left and I'll use it another day and then it says this is what confuses me a little bit it says gently wrap and push into your face with palms for deep penetration what do you mean gently wrap do you mean like wrap and push like like that that's the only thing like that's I'm kind of wrapping my face by doing that maybe so I'm just gonna go open this and we'll get right to it okay so I've gotten it open also I don't know what kind of finish it's supposed to give me but it, you know the package well the, the leaflet sorry does mention a lot of moisturizing properties so I'm kind of expecting I'm kind of expecting a glowy kind of finish I'm not expecting a matte finish. The foundation that I use, it's not its not exactly matte either, but I, matte, I make it matte by using um, my powders and stuff. But yeah, there's this, you know, I'll probably be able to use this a couple more times. So that's that. Okay, so it's kind of thick, but already I kind of like it. What I will say though, oh, I'm using, as normal, I'm using my Makeup Forever HD foundation, Ultra HD, sorry. And I'm just using a flat brush to apply. Now, I think that the primer had a little bit of pigment in it because already my skin looks fairer than what it normally does. And I'm using my oval brush, got my makeup on, or well, to blend it in. Oh gosh. Okay, something I've noticed right away is that as I am blending in my foundation over the top of this primer, primer itself is kind of 
balling up you know like if you had glue you know like pva glue and you put it on your hands and then you kind of just do that and it balls up and it it's doing that in certain spots so it's probably not a good idea to drag the foundation it's probably better to pat the foundation in pat it in now I'm not gonna put on two layers like I normally do. It's it's too it's too hot outside. I, I just I just can't. I cannot. So yeah, it's like looking in the camera and looking in my mirror, my complexion seems a lot fairer than it normally does since I put it on. Now it's kind of thick and it was like a creamy colour. Let me just show you. Right, there you go you can see it so it's kind of like a creamy color and it is a little bit on the thick side it's definitely brought down my skin tone a little bit I don't hate it I don't love it it's it feels okay like it feels lightweight in my hand it felt kind of thick but once I put it onto my face it didn't feel like oh it was weighing down my skin which is a good thing so I'm gonna go and finish my makeup I'm not gonna do a full beat today I'm probably just gonna put on a little bit of lip gloss probably just going to put on a little bit of blush and that's it it's just, I, I just, it's just too hot to do the whole shebang it's just too much but I am gonna be going out and just doing a couple of bits and what I will do is check back in with you in a few hours and I'll let you know what I think about this primer so you guys I am back as you can see I didn't even put on any blush contour lips nothing I just decided to just continue on just as I was from like just as I was and I've had this foundation and primer on for now six hours I've gone out I've done a few things I've come back and I have to say it's held up so well I know I didn't go crazy and like do a full beat but I've got some foundation on and it's just so nice I feel like there's a little bit of a glow not too much I know I've got my curtains closed and whatnot so I don't have any additional light aside from the light that's just peering through the curtains but there's like this natural kind of glow thing going on. I really, really like it. I don't know whether or not I would go out and buy the primer, simply because it brought my skin tone down a notch. I look paler than I normally do, and I'm not trying to look lighter, or I'm not trying to look like I bleach or anything, you know, along those lines. I, I'm, I'm not trying to do that. So I wouldn't buy the primer on that note but I do like the way that it has set my face for my makeup to go over it I didn't like the balling up when I was um, applying the foundation I really didn't like that because then it's kind of like so certain parts on the skin is going to be without primer because it's balled up and it's come off but overall I do quite like that natural kind of glow thing that's going on that's kind of like the only thing that I do like about it I mean it's quite hot outside so I would expect to be sweating and usually my face does sweat or like my scalp sweats and it comes down into my face but I'm not getting any of that I'm not like getting those you know like you get that sweat that comes through on your on your nose I'm not getting any of that and it is so hot outside so I'm really quite pleasantly surprised at that but then there's other primers that I can get which won't ball up that won't change my skin tone that will perform the same kind of thing like again the black up um, primer that I reviewed uh, a couple of weeks ago that would do the exact same thing without bringing down my skin tone and without balling up so I would have to give this primer a miss unfortunately but of course if you feel like you would want to go ahead and purchase this primer go right ahead but my personal thoughts on it so I just don't like the fact that it balls up and I just don't like the fact that it has that skin lightening thing going on so in saying that if you like this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to share and subscribe and i'll see you on the next one bye